Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install macOS Catalina on an unsupported Mac. Recently, I made a video about how to install macOS Big Sur on an unsupported Mac, which is the latest operating system as of the time of recording this video. If you'd like to see that video, I will have a link for it in the description below. The steps for installing macOS Catalina on an unsupported Mac are slightly different to Big Sur. So, let's get straight into it. To start off, you will need a copy of the macOS Catalina patcher, made by JustDoOne. To download it, open your web browser and go to dosdude1.com forward slash Catalina, then click enter. So once you arrive at this page, you want to click download latest version. There's also some important information here if you would like to read that later. So we'll click download latest version and it will start downloading the patcher tool. So we'll come back when this is finished. So the download is almost finished. Okay, so it has finished now, so we can quit out of Safari. And then we can click down in the dock at the downloads part, and then click macOS Catalina patcher.dmg. So it will verify it. And then it will open the patcher. So double click on macOS Catalina Patcher and let it load. It will verify again. And then you may get a message that says macOS Catalina Patcher can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. So just click OK and you'll, what you'll need to do is go to System Preferences click on security and privacy and then click open anyway and it will reopen we'll close out system preferences and then click open when you see this message and then the patcher now has now opened so we'll click continue Here's a list of the contributors that have helped make this happen. So click continue. And now you'll need to find a copy of the macOS Catalina installer. So this patcher gives you an option to download it if you don't already have a copy. But as I already have a copy, I'm going to click browse for a copy. So I'll click browse for a copy. Wait for it to load. And then I'm going to go to my Applications folder, which is where my Catalina installer is located. And then I'll go down until I find Install macOS Catalina, then I'll double click on that. And now you've got a few options here on how to install it. You can either install it directly to this machine, you can create a bootable installer, or you can create an ISO image. Now, creating a bootable installer is helpful if you would like to do a clean install and not keep your data. But installing to this machine is good if you want to keep your data. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'll click this. And actually, if you'd like to create a bootable installer, I've made another video about how to create a bootable installer for Mac OS. So I'll link that in the description as well so if you'd like to look at that. But for now, I'm going to click Install to this machine, and then I'm going to click Start. It'll need my administrator password, and now it will start to install the patched version of macOS Catalina to this Mac. So I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so the patching process to this machine has almost finished, so I'll go through the steps once this is completed. Okay, so once it completes, you'll see a screen that says success. And it says a patched copy of the install macOS Catalina app was created successfully. 
and stored in this location. The installation will now be started. Okay, so as you can see, the Catalina patcher has now opened the patched version of the Catalina installer. So this should look pretty similar to the standard Apple installers. So we'll just click continue. Agree. And then you'll need to choose the disk where you'd like to install macOS Catalina. Now keep in mind that your disk will need to be formatted as APFS. Now if you need to format your disk as APFS, you can go to Disk Utility. Choose the disk you need to format. And then click Arrays. And then choose APFS in the format list. So I'm going to choose Catalina as that's the only one I've got formatted as APFS. Now I'm going to click install. And I'll need to go and get my power adapter so I'll be back. Okay so now that I've plugged my Mac in I can select the disk and then click install. I'll need to enter an administrator password to allow this. And then it'll start installing on the selected disk. So this process will once again depend on the speed of your hard drive or SSD. It will give you a little estimated time remaining indicator, so that's usually pretty accurate. So for me it's going to take about 8 minutes, so I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so the initial installation phase has just completed. It uh, has rebooted and it should be booting into the operating system that I selected to install it on. If for some reason it doesn't, and it boots into a different operating system on your disk, you'll need to hold down the option key as you, it is booting up and select the disk you installed it onto. But in most cases, it should change to start up disk automatically. So this will take a little while, once again, depending on the speeds of your computer. Eventually it should give a little estimated time remaining indicator right here. And then I'll come back when the installation is almost finished and ready to go up into the setup phase. Also keep in mind that this process may reboot a few times. Don't worry, just let it go. But also make sure that you keep it connected to a power source if it's a MacBook, for example. So I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so the estimated time remaining indicator took a little while to come up, but it has finally come up. It's saying about nine minutes remaining, which is pretty good speed for an installation. So we'll come back when it shows the setup screen. Okay, so now my Mac says less than a minute remaining. So um, it'll reboot one or two times and then it will greet me with the setup screen. So we'll go through that and then we'll take a look at our fresh install of Mac OS Catalina. Okay, so now that the computer has rebooted a few times, it has now greeted me with the setup screen. So this is a standard Mac OS setup. It's the same as any other setup you've done. So you can run through this yourself and I'll come back when it loads in Catalina. Okay, so now this Mac is completing setup and it's about to load the Catalina desktop for the first time. So sometimes this first boot can take a little while because it's trying to optimize and set up the software. And as you can see, macOS Catalina is finally starting to load in. So this may take a while for this boot, so I'll end the video here. But um, Wi-Fi and USB all should work without any additional patches. If you need any extra help, go to dosdude1.com forward slash Catalina and read some of the detailed information there. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below. So hopefully this worked well for you. Um, Usually with my experience with these patches, they work pretty well, even on unsupported Macs. So hopefully it works just as well for you. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.